So I'm going to show you in short what I did in the very previous video, which was tortuously long if you work with MATLAB and which was unclear if you're trying to learn a Riemann sum. So anyways, let's go with this shorter form. So our objective is uh, this, that we would uh, like to approximate values of this integral by taking Riemann sums. And what I'm doing here is this for the purpose that I am taking my sub intervals of a length one each for sub, for simplicity and I'm going to call them H and K here. Okay. And our interval or our domain is, if you look at it, it's uh, 0, 10, cross 0, 10. Okay. So that's uh, what I'm approximating the integral on. All right. So let me just go ahead and show you how, how I wrote the commands based on the famous book whose link I'm including in the description. So when we start MATLAB, my favorite way of working with it to use a new live script. And once we click on that, we shall get a, you know, blank live editor. And then I'm just pasting the commands that I wrote. And I'm going to very quickly explain to you again why I wrote them like this. Now, if I press control enter, what I have is that I got the, you know, I got the graph here and on the bottom, what I have here is that here is a value of this uh, integral that's approximated by MATLAB. And uh, what we have above here is a Riemann sum that we obtained by taking intervals of what? I intervals of length one in each direction. Okay. So that's an approximation of this interval. So, you know, up to two digits after the decimal sign, we are getting pretty good approximation. So let's just very quickly note how we wrote these. Okay. So here we have uh, the function written as symbolically and that I used uh, basically for the graph. And this is the function handle that we are using for approximating the Riemann sums. And this portion deals with what? This portion deals with this, that we are starting at 0.5 and then going in the interval, in the steps of how much each? One each, as you will say, denoted here, because we are taking the value of h as 1. All right, and this one would do the same thing in the other direction, going in the steps of one, then we created a mesh grid of the points, all these points that we obtained that way. And then we evaluated Z according to the values of this function. And now we are taking a double sum or double summation over, uh, you know, all these altitudes of the boxes. And since this is the same, we can keep it out. So this gives you the Riemann sum, okay, sum. And this is an approximation of the same integral by MATLAB. So it's a MATLAB output. And format long is for giving us more than four digits after the decimal sign. Now, the way the book does is that it writes an M file in which you can enter a different function with uh, different sub intervals and it keeps on giving the values. But and this one is just much, much more uh, watered down version of it. So but still you can do this. So you go ahead and uh, you make your approximations, say, smaller or number of sub -in intervals larger. Now I'm saying control enter. So you can see this here that we have gotten a good approximation up to up to three digits after the decimal sign. And, uh, you know, let's go even a little further. So if you go that far, what you will have is that approximation gets better up to, I think, yeah, up to the up to six digits after the decimal sign. All right. Or we can go further depending on 
how well we can do things okay and at this time well we have a still you know much much more like an approximation to much better level uh, up to how much up to like about eight digits after the decimal sign so i'll let you continue in this manner all right thank you